How are you guys doing today? We have the honor of meeting with Mr. Mohan Pat. He is a vice president with eBay in charge of core product development or core yep. seller experience. Buying and selling. Buying and selling. Okay. The honor is all mine. Sweet. We actually just uh, listened to his speech, which was awesome. There were some things that you said in there that literally blew my mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's like the evolution of eBay. Imagine EV and all of the ways EV evolves, and I feel like that's where eBay's finally going now. Yeah, so there were a couple like key things that you mentioned in there that we just wanted to share with our YouTube subscribers, because I know that they're gonna be excited about it, and if you don't mind, like sure. maybe explain a little bit more yeah. about it. Well, you know, I'm excited, and uh, you know, I covered like three basic things. Mm -hmm. One is eBay needs to continue to be a platform yes. that attracts just new buyers. Yeah. You know, you, I mean, you can be in any business. If you're not growing your buyer base, then you're really not in business. So right. that's a key focus for us. And we have a very loyal customer base, but we also need to attract new buyers. Sure. So experiences like under 10, mm -hmm. guest shopping experience. I hate the word guest. I mean, I just want to treat everybody as a customer. So, Well, one you, of the things when you showed how easy it's going to be for somebody who's brand new to eBay to not only buy something for the first time, but then also create an account. Yep. That was really cool. It was like a two-step thing to yep. buy something and then check out and then create an account. I mean, honestly, this, the, the word account just simply needs to go away. Like, you buy something, you're our customer, and True. we're going to remember you, right. and we're going to make it really easy for you, for you to come back and just access your information. Right. Well, you know, maybe you create a password, but nowadays people hate password. Like, you have a social sign-in, you can use that. True. Or you can give us your phone number, we'll just text you, SMS confirm, you're all good for us. So, I think there are different ways we're trying to just say, like, the whole account creation process is like, I don't know, like 2015. It's outdated. Yes, exactly. Right. I mean, nobody <laughs> wants to create an account. Right. People want to buy stuff enjoy get the full experience and that we're, well, that's what we're after. cool that's they want awesome. it they want it now yeah exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. and then for because we have a lot of people who watch our who are experienced ebay sellers probably the biggest thing that i took out of that was the um the employer employee hub mm -hmm. i guess is what it would be called something like that where you'll be able to give employees access or limited access to your account yep, is that right yep, that's coming yep, yep, yep. yeah we it's called the you know it's a complicated name. We okay. we in product and technology we like to make up stuff like this. Multi-user <laughs> account access. Okay, multi-user. Well, simply put, right. um, you run a business mm -hmm. and you have a lot of people you employ, which we love. We love the eBay sellers. So really, you know, doing this for our communities, and you want to give them access to do a few things on eBay. I mean, just like everything else, like you know, just because you have someone working in the store, they don't have the keys to your cash register, but they do exactly. other things, right? So that's basically what it is. Like, okay, I have a bunch of products, take some photos, write some good title, write a description, so they can create draft listings. Yes. And you, as the owner, can go create those listings, push a button, it gets live on eBay. Or they can even maybe create listings, but not manage your finances, not manage your account. It's a very simple concept. It's been a fan favorite in many ways in, you know, in my new role as also supporting seller experience. It just feels like this is something we have I'm to I'm so do. excited this is about it, seriously. So the way I see it is for the last 10 years, everyone's won it. Yes. And now they're finally, after like a decade of demand, yes. they're going to get it. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, you know, and, and customers win all the time. And, and yeah. again, I, I, look, multi-user account access is a lot of different things you can do along yes. that umbrella. Mm -hmm. And that's in a way the problem. We try to like, okay, let's do everything and then you actually don't do it. Sure. And I wanted to say, okay, let's take this very simple use case that pretty, may, pretty much every seller has this where you have somebody working for you let's just do that first and then yep. maybe we can do other things on top of it yeah. well that's awesome we're super excited about it and let us know in the comments how excited about it you are because that's a huge change everyone's going to be yeah. excited about it there's not one person that isn't excited about that <laughs> and then some of the other really cool things that you yep. mentioned like the the visual shopping yes. was something that i picked up that is i'm, I'm really excited about that too that just shows us yeah. how ebay is evolving yes. with the future how things are because the buying experience for a lot of people has changed and like for me example i'm a very i'm a visual person yes so I, when i'm buying something if i see it and I want to buy it, yep. then I want to buy it. I don't like to. I don't want to research the <laughs> name. Like, yeah. how do I know the name of a part something. of something? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I can explain something. I think you know, visual. I mean, you know, we've been very, very limited by using keyboard as the only way to interact. Yes. In mm. today's technology, computer vision, camera, right. visual, uh, augmented reality, all of these are great ways to interact. Right. So. 
you know, this was actually what I showed was literally done in a week by one of the engineers who said, That's we've amazing. had image search on our app for a long time. We, we kind of showed how you can take a photo in the real life or go to another website, take that photo. I'm like, why can't we use our own eBay images as an inspiration to start a new shopping mission? So, cool. so he did that in like in two days and I'm like, okay, I'm going to the open, I'm going to show it to yeah. the sellers where it's actually actively being developed right now and it's just addicting. I, I just sit there all day and keep doing this. That example that you showed of taking the, the rims or the yes, car yes. and taking the, the actual product on eBay and then taking a picture of your rims on your car and be able to see what they look like, that's crazy. That's like really, really, you can't do that at right, any Right, and augmented reality is the future and yeah. I feel like you guys really stepped it up and you're ahead of the curve, which is incredible. Yep. And yeah. it's just the beginning, you know, we're also looking at like, okay, how is the chandelier is gonna look in my house? How is this painting so going to look cool. in the wall? These are easily doable now in today's technology. I'm into chandeliers, so yeah. you've me a chandelier. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And then the one other thing that I wanted to just mention really quick is you, we were talking about um, some of the eBay glitches that happened over the past couple of weeks, because obviously we've heard about them as well. Mm -hmm. And you, know, you reassured everybody that a lot of those have been fixed, which we've noticed as well. Um, and everything else is kind of being handled there too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty much all the issues are fixed. Right now cool. we're working with sellers and some of them, we need to manually help them to change a few things. Sure. But it's really looking forward, um, the selling team, which is now I'm responsible for, you know, eBay is a complex system that is listing steam, that is search, like, but the selling team works for the sellers. Right. I work for the sellers. And it's cool. my job to make sure that everything behind the scenes works smoothly mm -hmm. so that you guys are focused on bringing great experience to the buyer. So that is my commitment to you. Awesome. Yeah. So then as sellers, is there anything that you could suggest we do maybe moving into the future? Is there anything that we should be focusing on that would make our sales at our eBay better? Yeah, I, I think it's a couple of simple things that you've always talked about. Very applicable adopt our catalog. Mm -hmm. If there's okay. stuff not in our catalog, you know, in, the, in September we're launching this release where you can actually add products to the catalog. Okay. Because when you have the catalog experience, things get better. Take great pictures. Mm -hmm. As you know, we're going sure. to continue to invest in computer vision and provide those aspects. What category it is, what brand it is, what color is it. Because when we create these browse experiences, mm -hmm. these under 10 experiences, your inventory will be missing if you don't right. adopt those aspects. Few basic things and we're working hard to make those experiences come true. And then is that the same for new items and used yeah, items? All items, okay, cool. and that's the other thing. We treat all conditions the same. Our customers are here for a reason, right. and they love new, they love used, so for all items. And then one last question, would you, would you recommend pushing free shipping? Well, you know, it depends. You have to think about this. There is a customer mindset right. on free shipping. I mean, Devin talked about this on the first day of the Open, where, you know, you put $5 more and you say it's free shipping uh, in your product, and same thing with returns. So it's just, it's just, I would advise, I think you guys are extremely smart. You know your business. Mm -hmm. There are some things where free shipping doesn't make sense. Don't do it. But wherever it is, play with it. Play with your margins. Play with the total amount. Uh, and you will find a niche there. It, but there is a, you know, this is not just at eBay. There is just a customer sentiment around free shipping. I agree. Capitalize it if you can. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Well, that is like incredible information, guys. We're so happy to have met Mohan. I'm excited about the future of eBay. We're excited about the changes that are happening. And I hope you guys are too. Go yeah. eBay, go sellers. Go, go yeah. eBay, go sellers. Thank you so Thank much, Ron. We really appreciate it. Thank Mohan's you. Mohan's a busy guy, everybody. He is. <laughs> Thank you. And if you guys have any other questions that you want us to maybe ask and find out for you, leave them in the comments and we'll try to find you guys answers. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys later. A few moments later. What's up, guys? We just had the honor of listening to Tracy Lee Davis. I say that right? Yeah. Tracy Lee Davis? to yeah. her wonderful speech on social media and how to use social media to boost your business on eBay. And it was really good. I picked up some good information from it, which is rare actually for me. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. In the social media realm, I like to consider myself a bit of an expert too. So. Uh, but she shared some really good stuff and we just wanted to share some with you guys as well. So if you don't mind. Um, I don't mind. I think the first question we wanted to ask was, if you're new to social media, What's the like easiest way to start? What would you do if you like you're not familiar with social media, but you want to start using it to kind of boost your business? Sure. Well, the big thing here is that you just whatever you're doing, just get started. If you mm. wait until everything's perfect, you have a huge catalog of images or videos, you have all of your branding done, it's you're never going to get started. So just get started, and the thing that's great is if you're just getting started and you make a mistake, nobody's going to be following you to see it. That's so true. <laughs> yeah, so it's exactly. not a big deal. That's so so true. you just get started. You start um, 
seeing what works, right. seeing what sort of stuff resonates with you because mm -hmm. you have to feel it too. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's all going to come through. You're going to get more uh, familiar with the platforms, familiar with how to do things. And so then that's all of it's going to grow from there. But you just have to get started. So, yep. so throw that profile together. Make sure it's a business profile. You need to have a business profile. And then put up your, put up your, fill, fill out your, um, profile as completely as you can and again you can always go back and edit it as needed but just start so the sooner the better yeah. yes do you remember yeah. do you remember some of like our first posts and our first videos on youtube how like terrible they were terrible literally <laughs> again, terrible that was such a good point because it, it honestly doesn't matter like you can you can improve as you go and by the time you get really good at it maybe your network will be bigger and mm -hmm. by the time you're good at it you'll just look like an expert yep. <laughs> but it's so funny we go back sometimes and look at our old content and our old videos or like should i delete that <laughs> it's just like old filmed on an iphone and stuff so yeah crazy. well no that's vintage so you want to keep it <laughs> Go. Um, Vintage rally roots. And yeah, and then the other question was: um, so then, if you're if you're on social media and you're starting to get into it, is there anything that you should not be doing? Like, what's a bad thing to do on social media? Well, so whatever platform you're on, the the ultimate main purpose is for people to connect. Uh, people want to feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves, a community, uh, you know, have that, that connection. And so if all you're doing on your social channels is selling, that's not going to work. Oh, Nobody okay. gets onto social media just because they want to be sold to. They want to feel like they're they're part of something that they have, you know, a social connection that they have friends there, even if they've never met in real life. So making sure that you are sharing other stuff. Really, only about 20% of your posts should be selling promotional mm. posts the rest of what you're what you're sharing should be fun right. and inspiring and motivational and educational so this whole other 80 percent of the, the content pie should be fun engaging stuff so positive post yes stick we to positivity, not negativity. Yeah. <laughs> Would you even like try to maybe build your profiles up before you even try to start selling anything at all? Yes. Kind of build a community or network before trying to start selling? Yeah, because people want to do business with people who they like, know, and trust. And right. if you haven't spent that time to develop that relationship and nurture that along, people aren't going to care about buying from you. But when you get people to like you, when you get people to feel like they're part of your, your, your tribe, right. then there's so much more primed and ready to buy something from you when you have something to sell. What's interesting about that too is that a lot of like our sales on Instagram, for example, come from us not even trying to sell the item. We're yeah. just showing it off and showing like some of our finds and then people will reach out to us and be like, hey, can we buy that item? Mm -hmm. yeah. So sometimes you'll get sales with your business without even trying, which is the better way to do it, I think. <laughs> Absolutely, because you, yeah. want, you want people to be raving fans and you get that by having them feel like they're connected to you. Cool. Yeah, the engagement, always make sure that you respond to comments, right? Because that's Absolutely. very important. Yes. And we've always engaged everybody every time they commented on any of our pictures, whether it was like a thumbs up or a thank you so much, whatever we could get to, yeah. I know that that's very important. Yes, because you want to, you want to reinforce the behaviors you like, Mm -hmm. And if people are commenting and engaging with your posts, then that's going to help your posts get seen by right. more people. And so if you are replying to their comments, then that's driving that social visibility back up, uh, which is what you want, because that's going to get more eyeballs on your posts. So get started and be genuine before you start trying to sell people stuff. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Those are really good tips. And then Tracy also runs a social media company. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's called Zing Pop Social Media. I'm based in San Jose, but I work with people all over the United States. Cool. And so that's zingpopsocial.com. We'll link it in the description of the video as well. Great. Well, thank you so much. You're really very appreciate welcome. Thank it. you. That was awesome. Yeah, thank you guys. Was fun. See you guys later. Hooray. Bye. Ice cream time. <laughs> Ice cream time. <laughs>